Guys, it's finally here. I didn't think this was ever going to arrive. I think it went back to Team Corali about three times and on the fourth or fifth attempt, it arrived. So this is the 2022 Cronus from, or Cronus, from Team Corali. There's the upgrade from the 2021 version. I didn't have the 2021 version, but I heard there was a few weak spots on it. So this is marketed as the Extreme Pro chassis. It's a roller and it's got lots of machined alloy and carbon fiber in it. Now a disclaimer, I am not the biggest, most extreme basher out there, but I am gonna take this to a skate park and give it some abuse. Whoa! Did it break? I think I might have broke it. Oh, that was not good. And you're gonna get a bit of a bonus because I'm fitting the brand new Max 8 G2 censored ESC, pairing it up with a 4278 2250 kV G2 censored motor. Aren't you lucky? I've also got a new transmitter from WFly. They've sent me that, so I'm gonna be trying that. And also this crazy, it's pretty fast, 60 kilo servo from Demond. So extreme pro chassis. Like I said, there are no electronics included. If you wanna know the updates between this one and the older version, they are there. Right, let's get out of the box and have a closer look. Well, it's certainly a big old beast. There it is, one ape scale truggy. Big old wheels and tires. Just for reference, that's an armor big rock tire there. Should be good for some back flips with them things on it. Lexan body. I like Corali's body clips because they're easy to get out and easy to put back in. One of my pet hates is bad body clips. And then underneath we are greeted with machined alloy and carbon fiber chassis brace there. And this even has a little holder for your Sky RC uh, GPS. Nice little touch. So if you want to see all the specs, I've shown you that list of upgrades, but I'll leave a link in the description where you can find more information about it. It's got a lot of decent stuff on it. Big, thick alloy shock towers, carbon fiber chassis brace there, more machine stuff, sprung steel out drives, shock ends are upgraded, loads of suspension travel, 775 chassis, big skid plates front uh, and at the rear. Your limits, not someone else's limits. So it certainly looks good. So what I'm gonna do is get the electronics in and then we're gonna go and give it a bash as extreme as necessary. So these have only just come out from Hobby Wing. This is the new censored motor from them. This is the 2,250 kV. And then this is the new Max 8 um, ESC. There's your sensor lead there. Dual XT90s, I'll only be using one on this. So I'll just put a short in link in there, but it means you can use two batteries and I'm pretty sure I've read you can add a turbo boost to these so you can increase the speed I'm sure it's something like 25% or something that's going to be crazy you get a set of spare leads as well if you've got a different motor if you've got a Hobbywing program card that's just an overlay to stick on it shows you all your parameters the Demond servo has come from GCRC I'll leave a link to their eBay uh, where you can pick these things up these are really good i've got one not a 60 kilo i've got a 50 kilo in my trx4 even running on six volts it's crazy this one will run 8.4.08 uh, seconds and this can dish out 8.4 as well and i'm gonna be using this transmitter now i'll do a full review on this but the, this is the first truck i'm using with it so we'll get it um, set up and then a review will be coming of this at a later date And there it is, all in, fits in there nicely. I'm a bit concerned that there's a big gap under there like I am with a lot of these um, RCs where you've got a gap under the motor, it just allows it to flex, but we may be okay. Servos in, I'll show you how fast that is in a minute. And the ESC on here. Now, something else I'm not keen on, the plate that it sits on, I don't know if you can change it, but it just, it's only held on down there so it flexes about which i don't know that might be a good thing because it might absorb i don't know but anyway i don't really like that that flexes about i didn't look properly at it you may be able to change it i've got my short in link in so i can run a single battery something else i like about it a little feature look if you're running a hobby wing setup there's a bracket for your button now i'm going to show you how fast the servo is and i'm going to show you how smooth it is with that esc check this out <laughs> it talks to you. This looks really cool. Like I said, I am going to do a uh, separate review on this because I need to have a proper look at it to see all the functions on it. But I've kind of got it on the basic settings. I've trimmed the uh, steering. Check this steering out. Obviously offload first of all. <laughs> That's so fast. And then 
it's still just as fast with a bit of load on it. It's crazy. Anyway, watch how smooth it is as well with that um, censored motor and ESC. I wasn't even recording. I was just showing you how smooth it was. Look, and I flipped it on the workshop floor. Not even got out of the workshop yet. Anyway, look how smooth it is. This is just 4S. Nice, slow, smooth, censored motor, no cogging, no sharp acceleration. It's pretty, uh, pretty aggressive though, even on 4S. <laughs> this is going to be mental on six. Right, <laughs> let's take it out, give it a bash. So I was going to go to the dirt track over there, but I break more things over there than I do on the skate park. So we're going to the skate park. And we are running 6S, <laughs> it's a bit of a beast. It does, uh, again, that centre diff needs tuning because it does blow it all to the front <laughs> pretty much as soon as you hit the throttle. And the other reason we're here is because it's the XTR. It's designed for this kind of stuff. Oh, nice and controlled on 6S. Just flip the throttle. Control it in the air. I am just going a bit steady at the moment just to get the feel for it. Nice and smooth. It's definitely got plenty of power on 6S. Wow, that is a crazy amounts of power on six. That backflip was just flipping the throttle. That's mad. Look how fast the servo is. <laughs> you have to be quick. You have to be quick on that throttle for this. Man, I don't think I've ever seen any backflip this crazy. Can literally just touch the throttle. <laughs> if you, that jump is really small and I left it to the last minute just to bring it around. <laughs> the problem with that is, because it's so easy to do that, it would be so easy to uh, have a bad landing. And that's the problem over there. There's so many dirty landings or dirty takeoffs. Um, I always break them. Nice. What is nice about being able to control it easily is you can kind of just let it hang for a bit and decide what you're gonna do. Backflip. It probably doesn't look much on the video, but the hang time there before I decided to backflip was loads. <laughs> Didn't quite get that one. <laughs> so the problem for me, like testing these sorts of things, I'm not a massively extreme basher. This is designed to be a bit extreme. So am I bashing it enough or am I gonna bash it enough to properly test it? But then you've got the other side of the coin, people test them maybe too far. Do you know what I mean? I mean, is that extreme enough for you? <laughs> I'm joking. A concrete skate park is definitely the most extreme you can really do. Oh, I love how this thing just backflips so easy. The only other truck I've backflipped off of this little ramp is the MT-10. Yeah, easy peasy. That was not good. Oh. That was a bad landing. I've got something here. That's obviously the, uh, it's switched off because that's come out. I'm not sure what that is. Where's that come from? Did it actually, look, what did I hit? Did this actually come from this? Oh, I know what it is. It's the front of the battery tray where I hit them um, nose heavy. It's pushed that, pushed that off. Just a minor issue. Oh, 
poor chassis. Uh oh. Oh, ho, ho. straight on the concrete. Oh man. <laughs> that is a good jump. Yes, this is so easy to control. <laughs> so easy to control. So that new hobby wing motor, it's a little bit warm at the moment. Not too warm, I could, you know, put my hand on it, but. Oh, come on, plugged again. Whoa! Did it break? I think I might have broke it. I hit that railing hard. Whoa! Yeah, something's broke. Something has broke. Is it the shock? Well, I broke the bumper. Yeah. Well, that was going to happen, wasn't it? Hitting that. <laughs> Is that all that broke? And the bumper. Right. Let's go and assess the damage. <laughs> She's a bit low. I reckon we could do one last backflip, though. Oh. <laughs> so, broken shock standoff by the looks of it. Broken wing. Broken front bumper, broke the battery tray thing. But she's still good. I am never going to financially recover from this. Who needs shocks anyway? There we go, that'll do. Add a wheelie bar, it'd give the MT8 some competition. One more victory backflip. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't help it. I know it's broken, but it's just loads of fun. I am going gentle on it. I know it's slamming that chassis. <laughs> no. Right, so damage report on the Kronos then. It's actually a little bit more than I first thought. So battery tray did break off. That broke off there where the battery slid forward. That was probably my fault. So with the battery in, you can see there is a, a gap there. Should have maybe put some foam there or something or strapped it down harder because obviously that big heavy uh, nose dive just pushed the battery forward, snapped that off. So acceptable for that to break. The standoff, again, I'm gonna say acceptable for that to break considering uh, the crash we had. I don't know whether that broke on impact with the railing or when it landed, because I couldn't see it when it landed, but gonna take that as acceptable also notice that the sway bars come out but it looks like looks like it's just come out come out of there there's a little uh, grub screw on there so it's not broken it's just obviously it was loose and that's come out of there the wing breaking now again it was probably on the landing after hitting that railing but i'd expect a wing like this this um, sort of molded material to not really split that easy. I have, I have beaten RCs way more than this and not had a, a rear wing break like that. So I'd say that plastic's maybe a little bit brittle. And then speaking of brittle plastic, again, this bumper, I don't believe this bumper should have split like that as well, or this skid plate. This should be designed to take some impact. So you want this material to be relatively flexible and for it to break along there, that needs to be softer. That needs to take some impact and not split. I'd expect it to maybe bend a bit and you'd see some maybe stress marks or crease across there from the where it's bent, but I wouldn't expect something like that to, to break. A couple of heavy landings, but not really enough to have that break in. So we're gonna say that's not acceptable, but not an expensive part to replace. And finally, and I'm definitely not the first person to do this, the center carbon or composite brace snapped. That sits just along there. I've seen other people with Cronus's break this relatively easy, and I don't think that should have broke under these conditions. And what's strange is, Corali already make a 7075 
alloy one of these so i've ordered one of them as well that should be fitted from the factory not the carbon one because it's definitely a weak spot so to replace all them parts and to get upgraded one of them i've got a new spoiler as well even though that one that one has survived but i've got a new one as well it's cost me 45 pound which is about 55 60 dollars some of it my own fault but you don't want to be spending money every time you go out in a bash and i didn't run a full pack through it that being said, this thing is an absolute beast. I love the way it backflips so easy. It's well balanced. You can see it in the air. You can have a bit of hang time with it. Um, it's very predictable. Obviously, I hit the railing and it wasn't very predictable, but every other jump, pretty much, you can see what it's doing. So I am super impressed with that. Haven't really had enough time to play about with the Hobby Wing, the new Max 8. Um, the motor was getting quite hot, actually. You could just about touch it, but it was getting hot. So that would probably benefit um, from a fan and a heat sink. I mean, this can be, you can use this in all sorts of things. I just chose to use it in this and it did get a bit warm. Servo, crazy speed from the servo. Didn't find any issues at all with that. Steering's relatively limited on the Kronos. Now I thought, that, I thought it might be the end point, so I did set them, but it kind of comes to stop. When you're going slow, you just feel like you've got to take a massive wide berth. But anyway, I've got new parts on order. I'm gonna take this out again, maybe play about with the settings on the ESC. I've got the Bluetooth module. Um, but you can use a program card as well. So I'm impressed with that. And breakages aside, I do think this is a decent truggy. I've not had a massive amount of experience with the big one ape scale, like 6S stuff. I prefer bashing the smaller stuff myself. I'm going to get it fixed and I've got another video planned for this, which is slightly different to the norm. Cheers for watching. I'll see you next time.